grade 6 subject science chapter 12 electricity and circuits module 3 objectives at the end of the session you will explore about human made torch and working and construction of an electric switch in our last class we had studied about electric circuits isn't it with the help of an electric circuit we can make a homemade torch let us move homemade torch take a torch bulb and a piece of wire remove the plastic covering at the two ends of the wire wrap one end of the wire around the base of an electric bulb fix the other end of the wire to the negative terminal of an electric cell with a rubber band as shown in the figure now bring the tip of the base of the bulb that is its other terminal in contact with the positive terminal of the bulb does the bulb glow yes it will glow now the move the bulb away from the terminal of the electric cell does the bulb remain lighted no it will go off is this not similar to what you do when you switch your torch on or off yes so simply we have made a torch by ourselves now we are going to study about switch we know when we switch on the lights will be on and when we switch off the bulb will go it is the same in case of all the electric appliances isn't it so let us study how a switch works when the switch is on electric appliance works when the switch is off appliance does not work so what happens here let us see when we switch on the circuit is complete and the current will flow but when we switch off circuit break and current doesn't flow so we can define an electric switch as a switch is a simple device that either breaks the circuit or completes it once more i repeat a switch is a simple device that either breaks the circuit or completes it let us make a switch making a switch is the another activity in this chapter we can make a switch using two drawing pins a safety pin two wires and a small sheet of thermocol or a wooden board insert a drawing pin into the ring at one end of the safety pin and fix it on the thermocol sheet make sure that the safety pin can be rotated freely as shown in the figure now Fix the other drawing pin on the thermocol sheet in a way that the free end of the safety pin can touch it. The safety pin fixed in this way would be our switch in this activity. Now make a circuit by connecting an electric cell and a bulb with this switch as shown in the figure. Rotate the safety pin so that its free end touches the other drawing pin. What do you observe? Now move the safety pin away. Does the bulb continue to glow? We can see that when the safety pin touches the drawing pin, the bulb will glow. And when we take it out or move the safety pin away, the bulb will not glow. The safety pin covered the gap between the drawing pins when you made it touch two of them. In this position, the switch is said to be on and the bulb glows. Since the material of the safety pin allows the current to pass through it, the circuit was complete. Hence, the bulb glows. And when we move away the safety pin, the switch is off when the bulb did not glow working of a torch it is the same principle that is working uh, that is happening when we work a torch what happens we all know a torch has a 
switch isn't it so when the switch is on the circuit will be complete and the bulb glows and when the switch is off it will be a open circuit so the current will not flow and the bulb will not glow we had studied in our last class when it is closed circuit the current will flow and the bulb glows but when it is open circuit the current will not glow and the bulb will not glow okay that's all for today let's move to the follow up activity check out page number 120 in the textbook and by following the instructions in activity 4 make an electric switch okay that's the activity for today do it by yourself and have fun thank you